It's your boy Shanae Kaz. I am your favorite freedom fighter. It's favorite freedom fighter talking it everywhere. Don't believe me? Ask that bitch thing about me. You dig? Say it ain't so sharp. Say it ain't so. Damn, cuz. I, I need to get on Reddit a little bit more. My ex bitch put me onto that shit years ago and I just, you know, be kind of slacking in certain aspects and certain lanes and shit. But I'm, I'm gonna get back in the groove. Not the best leaf roller but apparently sharp was on reddit or one of his comments from one of his sites somewhere get got posted on reddit and he was basically saying how he feels like adam has abandoned him yada 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 and i was like damn that's not play at all it's not play at all but um adam came out and he did like a 30 minute video I ain't gonna lie, I, I watched most of it because you know, I, w I want to hear what was going on. I fuck with Sharp. Sharp may have not been the most camera friendly, I don't wanna say camera friendly, the most podcast ready, ready person on, on No Jumper, but you gotta appreciate, you know, Adam even giving a, a nigga an opportunity. But Sharp has been around since the 80 days. He's like the last one that actually stuck around that didn't get fired from the 80 days and shit. But Adam was saying, you know, like when he first got started, you know, he had did this one video in the first week and made like $15,000. So like he knew from there, you know, you know, su uh, not, not suspect, fucking uh, Sharp had a thing going. So he decided to, you know, bring him on the show. He didn't really tie him into no, no crazy contract where he, like, it limits him from like venturing off and doing other things. And my personal opinion, Sharp was the last real nigga that he had on the podcast other than like DW Flame. I mean, like, real nigga, real nigga. Like, you know, Almighty Suspect is cool, but like, I haven't even seen Almighty lately. I mean, like, I've been seeing mostly like Lush, Brick Baby, Flacco, like them other nondescript niggas that we don't even know their name and shit. Where is Almighty? But, you know, Adam being the nigga that he is, being a weirdo, Adam 16 as they call him, you know, always gotta take, try to make it seem like he, he, he's talking highly of somebody. But then at the same time, taking shots, saying how, like, how he never really did like talking to him, how you barely see them, you know, co-hosting the same show, uh, co-hosting anything, like, he's a completely different nigga. And you're like, although, you know, he be in the porn industry, you know, like, he, 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 he the Mac and he the simp. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, the simp. May have all these bitches, but guess what? You cutting a check while the other nigga having a bitch cut a check. Run, go get that bag. Like, we get it, y'all niggas live two different lives and shit. But like, it seems like Adam really uses his platform to like promote negativity, you know, debate, gang politics on a, on a public major platform you could call it major now uh, you got people tuning in from all over you no know, all all coasts all coasts tuning in so it's like you're using your platform to like thrive off the the misery and, and pain off the culture while just giving niggas crumbs and disposing of niggas when you're no no and no no longer in need for them like and I guess Adam wants him to bring back that old Sharp back. You know, when Sharp first started, he, his thing was like yelling at bitches. And I guess he decided, you know, he, he he toned it down a little bit, trying to clean up his act, trying to be more professional. At times a bitch got a line, he got, he got to verbally check a bitch, you know what I mean? But Adam thought he's going to be like his doja, you know, and... Adam made a few valid points. You know, you, he put him in a position where, you know, 
you're fucking with some 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 hitters. So like you're supposed to get out there to the parties and mingle. I mean, while your boss, you know, does what he does. You supposed to build, you supposed to build your resume. You know, shake some hands, kiss some babies, you know how that should go. But like Adam could have been a little bit more involved in, you know, the structure, knowing that a nigga may just may 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 just be new to this. I mean, you gave a nigga opportunity to shine, but like giving nigga some pointers. Like, and then he goes on saying, Oh, his wife is mad because how he be talking to bitches and you know, at the end of the day, that's the st no, that's 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 his mo. So you can't get mad at a nigga for having his mo and shit. I mean, like that's his persona. But you can tell Adam White, she she run the show and shit. Like you married a thought, my nigga. Can't turn a hoe to a housewife. Like, is this gonna be the end of of, of the relationship between Sharp? And motherfucking Adam, you know, like Adam said, he never really put him on, on a, a contract where you can't like go do your own podcasting, even that from your home. But like, why can't you, why are you even mad at that when Flacco got his shit and his shit booming? You know, he does his little side shit. He's over here. He, he you know, he interviews with whoever he wants, whether it's niggas that you don't fuck with. Like, so don't get mad at Flacco. Flacco, Flacco been. I mean, not Flacco, uh, Sharp been the last loyal nigga, last real loyal nigga in your motherfucking corner. The mother niggas, they, 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 they clout chasing too. The niggas sell their soul for a dollar. We have a ton, ton, ton for Sharp to, to venture off and do, do his own thing, you know what I mean? Like, you had your time to shine, you know what I mean? Everything will last forever, my nigga. But nigga definitely gonna be looking. I, I didn't even know nigga had a podcast recently, so I'm definitely gonna be tuning in, checking nigga shit out. Like we need we need more sharp, less Adam in his gang politics, nigga. Cause you a civilian, cuz. Blah. Falk. On BD and G D. <laughs> yeah, he be playing with that gang politics. Like that shit is a gang. What y'all think about this beef between Adam and Sharp? Like, Adam just losing all his great talent, man. Yeah, it may be something different. Maybe that's what you need. It's like like Mace and Cameron. I mean, like how they do the, the entertainment with the sports. Niggas ain't doing entertainment with the sports shit. And I mean, like we need somebody to sit down and, and do this this politics shit, some real politics shit. That's why I'm trying to step in the game and, and do the shit with me and Scott LaRock Jr. I mean, trying to switch it up a little bit. Because everybody bringing the same bullshit to the table. We need new, better outlets out here. But I ain't gonna talk to my fucking head off. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram so when I drop these awesome videos, you get that ding, ding, ding. Tell them what he's one, Johnny. Another motherfucking awesome video from me. The Revolutionary Cut Show is my IG and my Facebook fan page. I'm back on Clubhouse, RC like the coat, like the cola. They, I be joining this couple chats. Niggas be showing me love, but I, you know, these weirdos ain't gonna let me on the floor and, and, and speak on, on these bitch niggas. A lot of these niggas be cop blocking and shit. Blackballing and shit. But we're gonna save that shit for another motherfucking episode. Until next time, you know what it is. Smoke one for your boy. Triples.